Friends, in this video, we will discuss about functions in SQL Server. Okay, we can see the output as expected. Scalar functions. Suppose I want to find out the employee whose salary greater than 40,000. We are using this as a table. Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. Friends, in this video, we will discuss about functions in SQL Server. Okay, so now let's get this started. First, you need to understand what is functions in SQL Server. A function is a database object in SQL Server. So the next point is, a function contains a set of SQL statements to perform a specific task. So it can also have multiple uh, set of statements. So in this, we can have multiple SQL statements to perform a specific task. So next point is, a function accepts input parameters, perform actions, and then returns the result. Or we can say, a function must returns a value or we can say a function must return a result. So it accepts the input parameters and performs some actions and then it must returns a value or we can say it must returns a result. So the next point is functions always return either a single value or a table. So it always return a single value, either it will return a single value or it can return a table. So it it is based on the Funct uh, SQL functions type. Okay, so but this is uh, important to understand that it must return a value or a table. Okay, sometimes like uh, we are having a store procedure. Okay, so store procedure is store procedure can return or may not return, but a function must return a value. Okay, so this is the difference between uh, store procedure and functions. Okay, so the next point we can create functions once and can use multiple times as per our requirement. Suppose if I want to calculate some value, so I have created one function and we can use whenever it is required. So we can create at once and use as per our requirement. So now let's understand what is the rules to create a SQL Server functions. So rules for creating SQL Server functions. So first rule is a function must have a name. So as you know that we must have to provide a name to a function while creating a function and the name cannot begin with a special character. So it is recommended we cannot, so here we cannot start a function name with a special character such as the, at the rate and dollar symbol has. Okay, so these are the special symbols. So we cannot use this or other similar characters. Okay, but it must have a name and we have to use, uh, we have to provide a proper name. The second point is a function only works with select statement. Most of the time, we will use select statement while working with the SQL Server functions. Okay. The next point is function can be used anywhere in SQL like average, count, sum, minimum, date, and so on with select statement. So these are the functions. Suppose this is the some predefined function available in SQL Server. So we can have average to find out the average. At that time, we can use AVG average function count suppose we were i want to count some value okay at the time we can use count sum and minimum date and so on there are different types of functions available so we can use but we have to use with select statements okay so the next point is functions compile every time so as you know that so guys it always compiles okay so whenever we will call a function it every time compiles okay the next point is Functions only work with input parameters. Okay, so it accepts the input parameters only. Okay, next point is function must return a value or result as I already discussed in the previous. Try and catch statements are not used in functions. So guys, we cannot use try and catch block in functions while creating the function. So we cannot use try and catch. Okay, so now understand functions types. So guys, there are different types of functions available in SQL Server. So we will understand types of functions in SQL Server. Okay, friends, I will try to give you more information in a small video. So I will not extend this video for too lengthy. So understand functions types. Okay, there are two types of SQL Server functions. Okay, so first understand what is the first one and what is the segment. So first one is system defined functions. So there are predefined functions available in SQL Server, so we can call it as a system defined functions. Okay, second one is user defined functions. So guys, here user defined functions are again categorized in two types. 
So first one is scalar functions and second one is table valued functions. Okay guys, so let's understand what is system defined functions. Okay, so system defined function is nothing but system functions are built in database function. Okay, the next one is functions that are defined by the system are known as system functions. Okay, so as we already know that that function those are already defined in SQL Server, we can call it as a system defined function. Okay, it is very simple. So the next point is the build in functions save us time while performing the specific task. So we create a function and while we are performing any task, it will save our time. Why Why it, is, it will save our time? Because suppose we are having a, a lots of calculations. Okay, so what we will do, suppose we I want to calculate GST. So what I will do, I will create a function I will put our all the formulas in this that function and I just need to provide the input to that functions and that functions will return the result. So that's why we can say it will perform the specific task. Okay. These functions usually work with SQL statements. Okay. So most of the time these functions usually work with the SQL select statement. Okay. This is the very important select statement. Okay. Now understand what are user defined functions in SQL Server. Okay. Functions that are created by the user or developer. So suppose I am a developer, I can create a function. You are a user, you can create a functions in SQL Server. Okay. So functions that are created by user. So the functions that are created by user or developer in the system database or a user defined database are generally known as user defined functions okay so it is very simple suppose if i am creating a function if you are creating a function that is comes under the user defined function okay the next point is the user defined functions may accept required parameter to perform certain actions and return the processed data okay so the next point is the user defined function may accept required parameters. So it may accept required parameter, whatever the parameter it is required to perform certain actions. So to perform a specific action or we can say certain actions and then it will return a data. So it will calculate some data and it will return to us. Okay. Next one is these functions help us to simplify our development by encapsulating complex business logic and making it available for reuse anywhere based on the needs. So guys, suppose we are having very complex queries. Okay. We are having very complex statement, SQL statements. So we can put all the uh, complex statement into a function and then we can use it. Okay. So we no need to write these uh, SQL statement again and again. So what we will do, we will put all the SQL statement in the function. And we have, we just need to call a function. Okay. The user defined functions make the code needed to query data a lot easier to write. Okay. So it will be uh, very easy to use. Okay. So now first we need to understand scalar function. So guys, suppose I uh, let me open my SQL server. So this is a, suppose I am having a SQL table. Okay. So this is a employee table. Okay, suppose I want to calculate this salary. Suppose I want to find out the uh, employee based on the department. So what we will do? We just we need to create a function and we will call a function. Suppose I want to find out the maximum salary from this table. So what I have to write here, I need I just need to write a simple statement. Select and there is a inbuilt function available in SQL Server. Select max of salary from employee so it will return the maximum salary so what is the maximum salary as we can see this is the highest salary in sql server for 95000 is the maximum number so it should return 95000 okay we can see the output as expected we can also provide as allies name as, as suppose max salary okay like this okay suppose in the similar way we can also find out the minimum salary min okay and we can write here min, min salary. So what is the minimum? I think 25. Uh, so 35 is the minimum salary available in our uh, employee table. So we can see 35, this one. Okay. So like that, we can use SQL Server functions. Okay. So let's understand. A scalar functions. User defined scalar functions return a single data value of type defined in the return clause. So 
what is the scalar function we need to understand so what type of value it will return so we have to provide the return type okay so while creating a function at that time only we have to provide the type okay so we want to return this type of value suppose string type of value i want to return i want to find out the value that should return a string type or that should return a varchar type like this that should return i want to find out the value that will be a string type so we can say varchar type okay suppose integer type like this so the next point is function body can contain a series of transact sql statements that returns the single value okay so it is very simple so we no need to explain it now the return type can be any data type except text and text image cursor and timestamp so while creating a scalar function we need to take care that return type should not be text and text image cursor and timestamp okay now let's understand what is the syntax of creating a scalar functions okay so it is very simple like we are creating a view or we can say we are creating a store procedure similar way we can create a functions in sql server okay so what is the syntax create function schema name and schema name is not mandatory so like uh, by default schema name is nothing but dbo dot function name here we can provide a function name and here we have to provide the parameter list return data type here we have to provide like where care integer as begin and here we have to provide end okay so, so let's, let's understand it. how to create a scalar function so suppose i want to find out the area of triangle okay so to find out the area we have to provide the formula cos a is equal to 1 by 2 into base into height okay so this is very simple so let me create a function so create function and we have to provide the function name suppose dvo dot f even fun underscore uh, triangle triangle area okay guys so we need to pass here two parameters so base and height for passing a base uh, we can write like this suppose at the rate b b for base and i will ask a decimal type so we can say 10 comma 2 okay and the second parameter will be height Height is not nothing but at the rate h. Okay, so it is also decimal type, and I can provide it as a ten comma two, ten comma two. Okay, now we have to write here returns decimal, and here we can provide a ten comma two, ten comma two. Okay, so I want value uh, after decimal like two, and then h, and we have to write begin, begin, and then return. So for one by two we can write point five point five into at the rate base is nothing but b and into at the rate height height is nothing but h okay and then we have to write end so as of now we don't have any scalar functions in it so there is a typo here returns and now we need to create it execute now command executed successfully now we need to call this function. so to call a function we need to write select select dvo dot fun we can provide this name dvo dot right dvo dot this and then we have to pass the parameter suppose 4 comma 3 okay and uh, we can also give the as area okay and then we can execute this we can see the result 6 okay so like this we can work with scalar functions in sql server so if i will ref refresh this folder refresh and we can see this function is available here okay guys so let's proceed further so table value function it is also very important to understand so what is table value function user defined table value function returns a table data type so guys it will return a data type as a table okay it will not return a single value it is so we can use so we can use it same way as we use a table okay so we can directly consider it as a it is a table okay so you can use a table value function anywhere in sql that you can use a table okay so when anywhere we can use in a sql server like a table okay guys so uh, let's understand the example so it is very simple so we have to create a uh, create function here we have to provide the function name and whatever the uh, suppose salary 
Suppose I will give the same example here. So I have already created this example. Okay, so let's jump to the SQL Server. This is the function, uh, create function, function name, and salary I have to provide decimal. And what uh, what will be the result? Select name, department, salary from employee where salary greater than salary. Whatever the salary we will provide here. So maximum salary we want we want to find out. Okay. So suppose I want to find out the employee whose salary greater than forty thousand. Okay. So for that we can write uh, we can call this. Okay. So first let me execute this uh, command completed successfully. Now let me try to call it. So select star from. So we are calling this function like a table. We are using this as a table. Okay. Select star from. This function name we are providing this function name based on salary. So the employee who who salary greater than forty thousand I want to get. Okay, so we can see here uh, Peter, Sam, Rohit, Lucy, and Miss Smith. Those are so these employees having salary greater than forty thousand. Suppose here if I will provide thirty thirty thousand, so then it will return. Uh, so as of now we are it is returning forty. So if I pass here forty thousand. Then it returns five record. Suppose if I will pass here thirty thousand, then it will return seven records. Okay, so we can see forty thousand salary is already there. Okay, thirty five thousand is already there, like this. Okay, guys. So this type of functionality we can perform using the uh, functions. So guys, this is all about table value function. Okay, so that's all in this video, guys. I hope you understand the topic. If you have any doubt, you can ask me through comment. I will respond you as early as possible. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. This is my blog URL. You can check it out, guys. If you have any doubt, you can ask me through comment. Please provide your feedback. Thanks.